ASUX specializes in temperature controlled cargo on the Silk Road. ASUX had it both a challenging and interesting year in 2022. We had uh, a, drop, a significant drop in volume in comparison to 2021, where we moved 3,000 up into 4,000 containers, both east and west bound. Um, 2021, we had to drop in volume up until 3,000, 2,500 containers. And it was also on the other side very interesting where we saw an increase in, uh, in demand of temperature controlled cargo on the Silk Road. 2022 was also the year that we start testing our new generation of 45 foot reefers on the Silk Road. In 2022, Essex developed with partners Unit 45, Thermoking and also in collaboration with University of Wageningen a new generation of 45 foot reefers together with the efficiency of the Thermoking Advancer A500 engine and the 950 liter fuel tank we can go to China without refueling on the way. This new generation of 45 foot reefers allows us to go unaccompanied for 13,000 kilometers with high value cargo such as any type of pharmaceuticals, high value pharmaceuticals, electronics, temperature controls, chemicals from and to China. After developing the first prototypes of these new units, we tested it in wind tunnels in Wageningen, but also wind tunnels in Prague, where we simulated the most extreme weather conditions these units will face on the Silk Road. These units endure several stress tests with temperatures, outside temperatures inside the wind tunnel of minus 32 and inside temperatures in the unit of plus 32. So we tested it with temperature differences of 64 degrees and all results came out fine. Unity and moving electrical cars on the Silk Road is also a um, very important factor in this one. But also the logistic hubs, the European distribution center for Kanao Alibaba is centered. Connecting with the Ruhr area and this all happens in, uh, in this very region. That, but we also see already today that not only the big enterprises but all, already also the, the middle and smaller enterprises find its way to the new Silk Road. Why? It's faster than, than ocean freight, it's less polluting than air and it's a great and stable and uh, safe way of transportation their goods from and to China.